Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Battle Brothers. So, we're here in Schweikhoff, having just completed a fairly well-paying contract. Although we did lose three guys, and now we have some new men. Magnus here, who has no armor. Um, we also have these war picks that I should be giving out to people, probably. Let's see. Because that 200% uh, effectiveness against armor is pretty damn good. I'm going to give you... No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do you a war pick, and I'm gonna give our other outflank guy here, he's also gonna get a war pick. There we go. Our spear and shield guys are gonna stick with their uh, hatchets for now, their hand axes, whichever one they have. Yeah. And we'll hang on to the rest of this stuff. Although, we should get rid of the sackcloth. It's not, not doing anything for us. Oh, boy. Oh, and pickaxe we're not going to use because it's a little bit too heavy. Wooden flail we can ditch, um, but the rest of the stuff we'll keep. Now, there's not actually any work for us here. So what we might do is buy these copper ingots and see if we can't find somewhere with, well, more work and also more, uh, more stuff available. Well, this place does have an armor, which we probably should take a look at. Uh, we have never been to a Waidhof. Are they large? Build something off lumber. Eh, decently sized. They might buy our copper. Oh. So we found some brigands on the road, and I figured, why not? There's like five of them. Maybe we can get some more gear out of it. So what do they got? Uh, yeah, they're not super scary or anything. And they're going to have to come to us, because we have all of the range advantage here. Oh, I forgot to reorganize my uh, reach weapons. Ah, damn it. Oh well. Bunk. Come at us then. Have at the. Where's this? Torhelm, you can get your throwing axes out. And I guess you can also wait, although it looks like they're all coming down this way to fight us. Our backline's gonna have to wait a little bit for everyone else to move forward. We are gonna have to move forward to deal with that pike. Actually, maybe we aren't, because our. Uh... Our long axe is right there. Hubert's gonna step up. He's gonna cover that little uh, that little space there. That's gonna be his turn. Friedrich, you're gonna get rid of this guy's shield for me. Thank you. Ivar, spear out. Um, yeah, everybody else is just gonna kind of come and get ready to collapse it on these guys. Spears, Gisbert. There we go, a good hit, although I kind of wanted him dead. Gustav has quick hands, right? He's also still injured. Crud, I was not paying attention to that. That is not fantastic. There we go. Pike sorted. Nice. Not bad, uh... Not bad going for, uh... Javelins there. Torhelm. How close can you get and still be able to throw an axe? To there. Okay. Nope. Didn't do us any good. Alright, Bertolt, you're not doing anything. Uh, Wolf, I guess, can step up to here. That's his turn. And Magnus can get in this gap here. Oh, and now they're just all gonna have to wait again, because our line still needs to move up a little bit. Now they don't have a pike, though. They're gonna have to come to us. <coughs> Gephardt doing work with the bow. Alright, Brigands. Let's see what you got. Okay. Oh, they're all going around the side there. Well, that's kind of rude. Hey, come back here. Um, hmm. Crud, we can't actually get in range with the throwing axes. Alright, well, I guess we'll just come, like, down here and just be ready to throw axes at them. Oh, hello. Hey, don't break my bucklers. I need those. Sort of. Go away. Alright, time to start fighting these guys proper. Ivar's going to want to get his axe out here, because he's fighting a dude in pretty good armor. Same for friend Hubert. There we go. And then... Mm, can't quite move all the way down. But, can get our long axes in here. Okay, so we'll just move them straight up into... Oh, that guy broke. Well, that's convenient. Dietmar, everybody's coming down this way. Gustav, you're going to need to get... You know, a proper weapon out. Uh, this guy is actually not that heavily armored. We can probably get away with using the falchion here. 
Yeah, as long as we're hitting him in the body, the falchion is uh, fine. Does kind of require us to hit him, though. Wolf. Poor Magnus. He keeps trying to get to a place where he can attack people, but he just can't. Everybody's dying too quickly. There we go. Uh, Magnus is still not able to do anything. I, th I don't think we need any more arrows here, guys. I think we've got it covered. Uh, let's see. Torhelm. Oh. Not much luck with the throwing axes here. Okay, dude's playing defensive. That's fine by me. What else we got? Ivar, you can just beat up this guy a bit, I guess. In fact, everybody can just beat up this guy. Let's see. Gizbert. Hmm, I can't get you into a spot to use your axe to break that guy's shield, unfortunately, but we can surround this guy. And everybody else is just kind of moving down to close in on these dudes. You, on the other hand... Friedrich, just break that dude's shield for me. And just put him out of his misery. There we go. That went quite well. Did anybody take any damage? Nope. Nobody landed a hit on us. And we got some Lamellar. And we got another Pike. And we got a bunch of cool stuff, actually. Cool. That was a... Uh, definitely worth it. There's also some other brigands over here. We're doing something. Many brigand thugs and a few brigand poachers. Eh, it's probably not worth it. Unlikely to get anything really exciting out of that. Ooh, Gebhard leveled up. Gebhard the slow. He's hesitant. Oh, I guess that's why. Anticipation. Uh, no, we don't really need anticipation. What we need is... I don't know, actually. Could give him crippling strikes. Fast adaptation, actually. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Plus four range skill. Plus... You need more initiative. You need more resolve, definitely. And... Uh, yeah, more initiative. Why not? Can't hurt to have you go first. Um, hmm, I'm not really sure what to do with these nasal helms. I don't want to give them to our uh, outflanking guys. Just yet. Oh, right. We should uh, make sure everybody's got their spears out. And you shove your arming sword. Actually... Yeah, it doesn't really matter, because you have um, quick hands anyways. What was I going to do? Oh, the Lamellar. Right. Uh, let's see. Which has been here the longest? Hubert. Hubert gets Lamellar. Um, and I guess we'll give Deepmar the padded leather. And Ivar can have the surcoat. There you go. That all works out quite nicely. Actually, oh, and we should take a look actually at the pike, because that might be better than the billhook. 60 to 80 damage. 40 to 70. Plus 5% chance to hit head. And a little bit better maximum fatigue reduction. You know, we're going to go with the pikes. I think we'll be better off with the pikes. Okay, and we made it to Wade Hoff before the stores closed. We could probably get a better price somewhere, but we may as well just sell these here. Because um, we need tools. We need a lot of tools, in fact. Okay, well, that'll do for now. Um, probably don't need to be hanging on to all of this stuff right now. I think we can safely get rid of these woodcutter's axes now. Mm. So I don't want to get in another situation where, like, everybody dies and we just don't have any equipment for them. But at the same time, like, we probably don't need most of this stuff. And they don't really have anything super valuable for us here. But they do have a contract. You find Edward the Trade Master talking to a druidic monk, cloaked in shapes more familiar to beasts than man. Horns for helmet, bare skin for armor, and the hooves of a deer clattering around his chest in a British necklace. He's quite the sight. Seeing you, Edward the Trade Master waves you in. Salzard, it's good to see you. The druid pushes the man out of the way, mid-talk. He speaks with a wobble in his voice, as though you're speaking from the depths of, a nature of a cavern. A mercenary. Ha. Surely you are a man of faith, no? We of Wadehoff have lost the blood vial of the Holy Mother. This relic is of great import to us, for through it we can speak to the old gods and have our prayers answered. It's been stolen away in some manner or another to the Guardians Keep Ruins. Go there and retrieve it. You glance at Edward the Trade Master, who nods. Aye, what do you said? Uh, let's talk payment. He takes a deep breath. 
Very well, this is what I'm prepared to offer you. You get 110 crowns in advance, another 440 when the job is done. Ah, uh, and that's decent payment, but for a level 2 contract, that's kind of low. We don't really need payment in advance. Can we get more when the work is done? 580 when the work is done. Alright, yeah, I'll take that. Now, before we go anywhere, it's going to take oof, most of a day to get all our stuff repaired. Not counting the stuff we're not going to be able to repair because we don't have enough tools. Hmm. Hmm. That's not great. What is actually damaged? Torhelm's stuff is mostly in good condition. His buckler's a little beat up. Deepmar's helm is broken. Helmet. Helmet. It's all the helmets. Okay. It's not actually all that bad. We've got a little bit of scratching up here and there. It's mostly our outflankers seem to have the, the worst of the damage going. So, what I might do here... Well, I guess they're going to repair their stuff anyways. Oh, Friedrich needs to repair his mail as well. Friedrich is also injured. Well, this is a level 2 contract, so we can probably get through it without Friedrich. Yeah. I mean... He might heal up in the time it takes us to get there. If he doesn't, I'll put him in reserve and we'll just do it with 11 guys. We should be fine. We can give someone else his, uh... Oh, yeah, we're not that far. Okay. The hole into the ruins is big enough for only one man to get through. You're worried that if everyone goes in at once, they'll get stuck and you'll have basically killed the 13th company off like a bunch of rats in a tight tunnel. Instead, you send in only Hubert the Stallion, who knows what he's after and who you trust can take care of himself for anything to happen. A few minutes later, and you hear the man struggling to crawl back out, and he sounds to be in quite the rush. He yells for help, and you and a few other mercenaries stick their hands into the hole. He grabs you, uh, grabs on, and together you yank him out. He got, he's got the blood vial of the Holy Mother, but a horrified look on his face. He rolls over and gets up in a hurry. Hurry! Two arms! As the mercenaries look into the hole to see if something's coming out, you ask the brother what he saw. He shakes his head. I don't know, sir. It was a mausoleum for people I've never seen before. There was armor and spears all over the place, and murals of a great empire that spanned the whole world over, painted from floor to ceiling, and, and then they started coming out of the walls. I got out of there as fast as I could, and before you can even finish, the, the rubble where the hole used to be begins to shift and move. Stones roll away, and suddenly they all burst outward, a malevolent force standing there, armed and well-armored men standing in formation, spears over shields, shuffling forward in uniform steps. Their leader points directly at you. The empire rises, the false king must die. You've never heard sure fighting words and immediately prepare your men for combat. Many ancient auxiliaries. Oh, oh dear. Um, so after looking at our whoa, after looking at our um our injuries in camp, I decided Friedrich was gonna hang out. Um, because split nose is not actually terrible. But both of our outflankers were actually not in great shape for, you know, doing their jobs. So I put them in reserve. Um whether that will prove to be a mistake, I guess we will find out, because that is a lot of skeletons that we're fighting. Get hard with your war bow. Oh, that's what we need to do. We need to get some um, better reach weapons for our archers so they can do things against, you know... If we should ever hypothetically end up fighting skeletons, I mean, I know it's really unlikely, but... Wow, Gebhard actually missed for the first time in ages. Everybody else is waiting. I mean, these guys have to come to us, and we actually have a little bit of high ground here, which Friedrich is standing on, so that's good. I don't know why I'm having everyone wait, since... Probably could have just ended our turns. The skeletons aren't going to reach us until next turn anyways. Doesn't really matter if we wait or not, since we're not moving up anywhere. I am concerned about our, our uh, south flank there. Like, on the right, Dietmar is covering this, like, whole area with his spear, if he spear walls. But over here, um, Ivar is only covering these three spaces, so the skeletons can get her under there. Which is concerning. That is just so many skeletons. That is way too many skeletons. And they're all shield walling as well, which is kind of annoying. Uh, shoot at that one. Hey, we slightly scratched up his armor. Good, good. Okay, everybody else can just end their turn. <laughs> Should have done that ages ago. Okay, so, Gebhard. Um, yeah, just shoot at that guy, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Using bows against skeletons. This is the best plan. 
Probably should have got Magnus some better armor as well. I just realized he's wearing, like, a cloth shirt. Okay, now is when we should be waiting. Waiting for them to get in range of us. Hubert, you're on spear wall duty. Harold, you can shoot at this guy again, I guess. Well, beat up his armor pretty bad. Ivar, Dietmar, there we go. Alright, skeletons. They're also waiting. Oh. Well, that lasted. There we go. Our, uh, our long axes. Oh, okay, that's not good. Our long axes are going to have a lot of work to do here. And it's a good thing that all our spearmen also have, uh, also have hand axes going for them. Nope. No luck there. Alright, you have the high ground. Let's see, 58, 58, 40, 40. Well, I guess I know who we're going for. Got the ancient sword. I don't want to get hit with that thing. 39, 26. Here we go. Alright, time to start cracking shields. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just get her back. Oh, crap. Their shields are durable, aren't they? Crud. That's not good. Okay, get your axe out. That's basically what our spearmen are all gonna do now. Spear is not much use against the skeletons once they get through the, uh, shield wall, so... Or spear wall, I mean. Okay, so... Oh god, it's going to take us two turns to break each of their shields. That is a problem. Hi, you're in melee with my backline. I don't like that. So is that guy. That is just so many skeletons. Alright, Gebhard. Um, shoot that guy for me. Did you just miss? Okay, good. One down. Um, yeah, just go for that guy, I guess. And Magnus, you're going to have to go for the guy who's right next to you. Before he stabs you, which he's probably going to do anyways. Uh, Harold, if you can help out. With a tiny little bit of damage that you do. Okay, Ivar is not in a good way. Oh, okay. That's not going swimmingly. They really do not like Ivar. Or Dietmar, actually. Alright, interesting. Um, what is our actual hit chance here? Our hit chance is actually not too bad, even with the shields, so we can probably just, like, pulverize them instead of shield breaking at this point. Especially for Friedrich, who's got the high ground bonus. Ivar broke. That's not good. If he tries to run away, he's going to have a bad day. Um, Hubert, you are less able to just straight up hit this guy, so there we go. Crap. He, yeah, he's fleeing. Oh boy. Alright, Gizbert. You have a good hit chance on any of these guys? That guy. And that guy. Um. Shit. Please don't die. Please die. Ah, okay, well, at least we didn't get the chain route going there. That would have been rough. Okay, we've still got, you know, numerical superiority at least, but our morale is wavering. There we go. At least we're doing good damage to them. Gabhard, can you... I really don't want to risk accidentally shooting that guy in the back. I feel like that would be a bad strategy. Wow, our best hit chance is the dude on the other side of a hill down the entire line of our men. Alright, take it. There we go. Tiny, tiny little damage there. Okay. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Did we just hit him for zero damage? Is that actually a thing that just happened? Hi. Oh, this is all going to come down to people breaking, isn't it? Oh, this always happens. Okay. 32, 34. There we go. Get rid of that guy. Um, Hubert. Crud. I guess I need you over here. And break that dude's shield. Please don't. Okay, well, at least he got away. Ah, uh, let's see. 48, 35. There we go. Powderize that guy. Billhook is doing sterling work today. 20%. That's not so good. Try and bump him backwards, maybe? 
There we go. Okay, so now he's not in melee with our backline, at least, which is ideal. Um, you are not in such a good spot. There we go. At least we can shred people's armor. Gebhard. Oh. oh, man, we are going to have to do so much recovery after this. I do not think this was worth it. I guess maybe we might get... Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. 12%. All right, you're just going to have to wait because we need you to build up some fatigue. Everybody's broken now. Come on, Friedrich, don't get stabbed. Friedrich's getting stabbed. There we go. He is so close to dead. All right, um, I need you to do anything, really. Crud. Oh my god, that guy is so close to dead. Come on, Friedrich. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, Friedrich's so boned. My, my only hope here is that he gets knocked out instead of killed, because I just have no way of saving him. Crud. Come on, Friedrich. Maybe he can run away. Yes, he made it. Friedrich the god. All right, come on, Gisbert. Get back in here. We really need you over here, like, now. Um, okay, can we please hit this dude? That would be swell. 51 on that guy. Oh, he's not shield walling anymore. Take it. Hurtful. Oh my god. This one skeleton is getting hit by everybody. He's just fine. He has no health left. Look, there's not even red left in his health bar. And we just can't kill him. That is really irritating. What do we got? 29? Yeah, take it. Oh my god. Oh my sweet Jesus. Okay, Gizbert. You're gonna come over here and... I'm gonna have to start breaking shields. Oh shit, Friedrich. Fuck. Is he dead? I don't know. What does it say? Killed Friedrich. Motherfucker. Friedrich died. Well, that kind of sucks. Can we please hit the skeleton? Oh my god, you didn't even hit his shield. There we go. Okay. Magnus is also in trouble. There's not a lot I can do about that. And Gizbert just broke again. That's great. Well, at least he's distracting one of the skeletons. Okay. Uh, Hubert. Could get you on the high ground, but at this point I just need you in the fight more than anything. If you could hit something, though, that would be that would be good. You know, if you want to hit the skeleton at any point. And now Gizbert's going to get himself beat up. Okay, come on, guys. I'm not asking too much here. Just, you know, hit the skeletons. That one's not even shield walling. Oh, my God. This is going... Oh, Jesus, everybody just broke. Oh, for fuck's sake. And now we have no chance of hitting this guy, like, at all, which is good. Um, Gizbert is about to get himself knocked unconscious because he's trying to run away. We really need a sergeant. We need a sergeant quite badly. Goodbye, Gizbert. He's dead, too. Wow, we are getting horribly unlucky here. Oh, shit, everybody's broken. Yep, Hubert broke from that. Well, shit. This was going okay. And then we just couldn't hit anybody. And we couldn't get through their shields. I don't remember the skeleton's shields being that, like, durable before. Maybe long axes are a little bit worse at breaking shields than the woodcutter's axes we've been using? I don't know. I definitely... I'm almost positive they used to go down in one hit. But I could be wrong about that. All right, Harold, give it a go. Ah, that guy's just leaving. Hubert's trying to leave. Gephardt is leaving. Well, shit. Oh my god, there's three of them left. We have, we still have them outnumbered. Oh, motherfucker. He's dead, isn't he? 
No, he's unconscious. See, the problem is if I retreat, we're just gonna lose even more. Wow, the short sword. The short sword did it. Oh, hey, Wolf. Nice of you to join the party. We can't fight these guys, though. Like, we can't hit them with any of our weapons at all. Here, Wolf, just get up there. Just build up some fatigue. Same for you, Gebhard. You're gonna come back. Oh, that won't build up fatigue, will it? Ah, motherfucker. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to hope Bertel can get away from his... Harold is super dead. Yep. God damn it. If we retreat at this point, we're gonna lose so many people. We're gonna be down to, what, five guys with our two guys that are in reserve. And we're not gonna get paid for the contract. Oh my god, I hate skeletons. I hate them so much. They're not even, like... They don't seem that bad, it's just, I always get really, really unlucky fighting skeletons. Like, my men just break at the weirdest times. But I think we're just gonna have to retreat from this and hope for the best. Yep, we're down to five men. And we lost, like, all of our best gear. Oh, I hate skeletons. I hate skeletons so much. And they are the bane of my existence. Oh, well, we're still getting paid at least, so that's good. Yep, he pays us. Okay, well that was my mistake. I assumed that if we didn't beat the skeletons, we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't actually complete the contract because video game logic, but um, that's actually not how it works, and we totally could have just backed away from that fight at no cost, so I feel really dumb now. Um, but that is also where I'm going to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.